What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. So if you're just joining us, we are uh, we're in the last video we invaded NXT with Cole Quinn. We dressed up as uh, the NWO, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall. Got into the ring, took out Johnny Gargano, and then Triple H just started sending folks. He sent down the AOP. We beat him. They sent down uh, Johnny Gargano and Cassius Ono. We beat him. Then they sent down the Undisputed Area. We beat him. All as well as a handful of security guards. So Triple H said, you want a, a sanctioned match here? Fine. You can have your match. And it's going to be against somebody Triple H's hand picking. We kind of think it's Braun Strowman, but this is NXT, so who knows. But let's get going here. Let's talk to Cole Quinn see what he has to say. Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. That's good to know, Cole. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. I I do think it's going to be Triple H, but we'll have to see. I'll be ready for whatever or whoever he throws at me, even if it's himself. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. People who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Cole's getting a little ahead of himself here. Ted DiBiase's like 100 years old. He would, we would break him in half. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. Well, thanks, Cole. All right. So this is going to say, let's see what he has to say now. Hey. No matter, I just, he said, oh, it's just right. the same stuff. All right. I think it's going to be Triple H, but let's just see. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out who his opponent. I, oh, I, oh. Okay, it's not Triple H. All right, Triple H, what do you got to say? Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight, but I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot <laughs> at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. Oh, man. No way. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, we got to fight this masked monkey. Oh my goodness. All right, well, here we go. Man, I, we'll beat this dude up. I don't care who it is. Come on. We're ready. We are ready. I also uh, fixed, uh, to bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with this masked fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is an absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it, or he's going to get beat up by this fan a second time. So I fixed uh, Puma's mask to where later on when he's without the mask, it doesn't look all crazy. Okay, here we go. Masked attacker here. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, my goodness. Puma going, nope, we duck it. And now Puma's gonna hook up this masked attacker and drop him down hard. Wow. Oh my goodness, a diving lariat from Puma. And now a standing moonsault, Puma's taking it to this guy. Oh, we're gonna do a little flip. Oh, we're not gonna let this fool get up to his feet. Come on now. Here we go from one side of the ring to the other. Uh, one of my more favorite moves here in this game. Big drop kick, no. Oh, we slap him away and we go for the drop kick again. And this time Puma hits it. And Puma going now for the low leg kicks. And an insiguri right across the mask. Uh-oh. But it doesn't look like it affects 
the masked attacker here. Oh, drops him down to one knee. That's interesting. Oh, it looked like we were going for a uh, springboard drop kick of some kind. Oh, man. Oh, Puma couldn't get out of the way of that clothesline. Straight up drops him. But Puma's able to kick out of this. And look at this, a flipping pile driver right onto the head of the attacker here. Oh, man. Puma's going to hook him up, it looks like. Oh, and drops him down onto the mat. Nice move. Puma now quickly going up top. The attacker has got a comeback. Oh, the knees. He raised the knees, and Puma gets blasted right in the midsection. Oh. Oh, he's trying to see who it is. Oh, Puma's trying to take off that mask. And just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. Oh, my. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh. Ropic, yeah, I mean, you pulled out your, your comeback, and you're not going to use it. That's strange. And now this guy's wrenching the head of Puma. Oh my gosh. Puma now. Oh, and a stomp. Puma's got to get out of this. Well, this guy has got his number, it looks like. Working that arm. And now Puma, look at this. What a move. The masked attacker working that arm of Puma. And, oh, nice. Puma's able to get out of it with a nice roll through. And a big elbow right to the side of the head. Arm drag. Arm bar. Puma now. No. Oh, doesn't look like. Oh, and a shot to the face. Get off. Puma pushes him away. It looked like he was going for his signature. But Puma gets out of it there. Oh, man. Puma is fired up, folks. And again, standing moonsault. And this time, helmet or no helmet, Puma's going to drop this dude right on the crown of his dome. Oh, butterfly. Pile driver. And now Puma calls down lightning from the gods. Thor himself charging Puma getting him prepared oh and, and immediately gets blocked <laughs> look at this oh man and Puma goes again but blocks it and this time hooks him up with the Puma's bite Puma all kinds of tangled up in the ropes and that's it though the ref didn't see it it must not count Puma gets the victory over this masked attacker. Triple H went out and found out who it was and got him into the ring with us and we just took care of business like we always do. Look at this, snatching us by the, the hair on our mask here, but not enough. Puma's bite and we hook him up and tie him up within those ropes. Puma is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. There's the attacker. Looks like he might finally who, find out who cost him his WWE contract. Oh, it's Baron Blade! Look at Puma's face! Look at his I'm eyes! I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Oh my God, Baron. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son oh, to me. Oh man, Puma's not and happy. After you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Oh gosh. Don't you ever mention my father again. Boy, look at the eyes. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career. 
my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. Oh I gosh. knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't no, drive he us didn't. apart. You, you drove, drove us, us apart. apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Oh, man. Wait, just please forgive me. What? Go Don't ahead. do that. Hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. We've already just destroyed you. You're not worth it. Oh my gosh, Baron, what have you done? <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. Oh man. And it sure did. Oh my gosh. Triple H is, they don't call him the cerebral assassin for no reason. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. Oh, what a bastard. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You well, guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere okay. and the moment they informed me baron was the masked man that attacked you i could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces oh man you know, it took a bit of convincing to get baron to do the match uh. i told him that i'd keep his secret but i was going to expose him either way so take your stuff take your little buddy here and go back to your rundown van oh and man not my lines. van don't don't shit on the van oh, wait there's one more thing you might want to know I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over oh, you now. Geez. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a oh. ring again. Now we're finished. Oh, man. Hey, guys, everything. hold on a second. Whoa. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern oh, you. Boy. Actually, it does. Oh, DB, relax. Yeah. As respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into okay. early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be okay. a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? Well, yeah, you are, He does are, always say that, Daniel. He does always say so, that. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible or be the raw. exact definition for what's best for business? Oh, turn in Triple H's words Fine. against him here. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this oh, time, man. but I will never forget what you did. Ooh. Triple H is not happy. So what's it going to be? With us. I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, okay. Monday Night Raw. Do we get to choose here? Is that what's about to happen? <sighs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I... I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. I wonder. Yes. yes! Lame. Yes! That's lame. I wonder if Hear that, that makes a difference. There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. If well, you go in and you decision, choose like a, a powerhouse, and if I've hmm. learned anything in my career, it's never say never. If you so choose a knows, powerhouse, do you go you to end Raw. Up you choose Raw. Raw someday. That's in interesting. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. All right. What a shocking turn of events we've seen. Oh, okay. All right. Wow, we got lots of cool stuff. Lots of good stuff. Uh, 11,000 VC or XP, 1,600 VC. We got some loot pack stuff. All right. Oh, man, we have a bunch of mail. Let's see. Um, I'm... I'm so sorry. Can we please talk? Answer your phone. Talk to me. I swear I meant well. Buzz, 
I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry, okay? I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer, and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish, and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be, so I decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down, and maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. Oh, I don't know, should we forgive Baron? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Well, we've got uh, a couple of new podcasts here. I can, I'll can i listen to those off to the side. All right. Well, lots of good stuff in this video. We um, Looks like we're about to start the next chapter where we head over to SmackDown. Man, who would have thought that? We go from the indies to invading NXT. And then we're on SmackDown. So that that's going to be it, guys. We are going to uh, finish this up here right now. We'll talk to Cole in the next video. And hopefully we'll have a match over on SmackDown. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're not, for more of that WWE 2K content on the channel, more my career, more towers, more Daniel Bryan showcase, and, of course, Universe Mode is coming as well.